guys welcome back to the channel and today as you can see by the title we're doing a everyday soft glam so this will be my everyday work makeup or what have you but it's a soft glam so before i get into the story make sure you like comment and subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you'll be notified when i post a video so without further ado let's get into the video now um i've already washed my face i have not moisturized it yet and you got it. you'll see why so i washed it and yes i still have lashes on y'all i didn't have to take my lashes off to wash my face however i'm a girly that puts her lashes on before makeup anyway because i don't like the either the glue getting on my makeup or the glue getting you know under my eyes so therefore i didn't you know wait until i put my makeup on i just put it on so first things first so because i'm going to work i'm going outside so after my face washing routine in the morning, I use the JLo Beauty that first take. So I use the eye cream and I also use the moisturizer and it has FPF in it as well. So first we'll be doing the eye cream. Y'all know I'm blind, so if it look like I'm squinting, I am because I don't have my glasses on. But for example, this is how much I put under each eye. And I do this every morning after I moisturize my face. Well, cleanse my face rather than not moisturize it. Because I do it before I moisturize my actual face. See? Mm. Yo, this stuff feels so good. I don't know what took me so long to get on the J-Lo uh, beauty product train. But baby, I'm on it now and I ain't going back. Word to my mom, you hear me? I ain't going back. Anyway, that is done. Both eyes are fully rubbed in. So now to the moisturizer. Now y'all, get this shit is expensive, okay? That's a little disclaimer, okay? I'm a baby that like the ball on the budget and this was not in my budget, okay? But I still bought it. So this is the amount that I will, of moisturizer that I will put on my face. Now y'all see that's not a lot, but rub it in my hands and put it all over my face. So, y'all can kind of tell. Probably not with the light, but it has a glowy effect. Now, in my previous video, y'all, y'all seen my favorite, my favorite, my all time favorite. As of now, tinted moisturizer, and that's what I'll be using. So, y'all see it? It's Tower 28 Tinted Moisturizer in the shade 50 Sunset. Okay, so that's like a medium tan. So, like some others, I put this on my face and I rub it in with my hands. Now, this is the only foundation that I rub in with my hands. Well, it's not foundation, but this is the only makeup product that I rub with my hands. So, I'm going to use my mirror so I can see how much I'm putting on. And I'll just put a little bit of this on. And y'all see the zigzags. Because I kind of don't like to use a lot of product. So, I just kind of zigzag it. And then... If I need more, I'll apply more. All right, so don't be cringy, yo. Please don't be cringy. And if you feel like me rubbing this makeup and it's cringy, then it is, okay? Judge me. I mean, don't judge me. Judge your mother. Now I'm about to rub it in so y'all can see it. Now, look. Y'all got to wait because it might look darker than my skin shade but it is not skin tone fuck i get skin shade from my bad y'all for the cursing but y'all have like a y'all see my little well i feel like i have a red undertone don't stop watching yet y'all because y'all see it look a little messy for real y'all gotta stay to the end to see the finished product because if you don't then what did you come for i'm not playing with y'all i love y'all but y'all need to love me back. So now I'm doing all of this. Now y'all can see that my little platinum, little blonde, little short hair. I'm a bald baddie now. You know. Y'all know what's surprising me because I love, 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 love wigs. And I told y'all that in a previous video. However, since I cut my hair, which has almost been two months, I have not, I repeat, I have not put a wig on my head. I've been wearing my <laughs> bald baddie stuff, okay? So. I'm just trying to make sure it's everywhere. 
because I don't do eyeshadow, y'all. Not every day. Probably on occasion, but not every day. That's just too much to do. Now, now that everything is blended well, and I'm going to grab my mirror again just to make sure. Because again, y'all, I'm a blind baggy. <laughs> okay? Don't judge me. Buy me some context if it's a problem. Give me some context. Thank you. Okay. So, looking in the mirror, it looks like everything is blended out evenly. And y'all, even with this light here, don't be scared to uh, put the they going on foundation, tinted moisturizer, whatever you use. Don't be afraid to put it closer to your hairline because baby, because baby, we already know you got on makeup sis. And if we don't, we know now because you didn't put it towards the hairline. You hear me? Why is your hairline different than you? Okay, that's what I was thinking too, right? Okay. So everything to me is blended out. And yes, with my hand. And I said it was a soft claim, y'all. You know, don't get your hands in a bunch. <laughs> Next, because that's not all I use, because it is a tinted moisturizer and it's very lightweight and it's minimum coverage, I also put on my Laura Mercier. This is in the shade 5N1 15. It's a foundation powder, okay? It's a powder. Y'all, I've never used powder. I've never used powder until I ran into this. So, I'm gonna take my big fluffy brush, put some on it, and then I'm gonna go around my face, okay? Just as if I was, you know, applying liquid foundation. And then with this, this just helps, you know, everything sit in place. Again, it's a foundation powder. And you know what powder does? It sets your face, beauties. So, I'll do all of that. Make sure I'm getting everywhere. Nose full here, everywhere. Y'all, please don't forget your chins and necks, please. Because I would hate to see two different colors, sis. Now, I'm not a makeup artist. I just do my face. So, I know what works for me. So, y'all got to know what works for y'all. All right. Now, add to this last brush, y'all. I feel like I'm going to be finished. Just like I told y'all, I don't do that. I do not do the eyeshadow, though. And please, y'all, get your necks. Make a match. Because I've done that plenty of times and be looking crazy as hell on matches. Okay. So all of that is finished. <laughs> now, next, concealing. Baby, you say what? Concealing? <laughs> My favorite one at the moment. Y'all play too much, don't mind me. My favorite concealer at the moment is the Too Faced Concealer. And this is in the shade Latte. Now, I also have the Too Faced Foundation. However, mm, I don't like it as much um, because I think it's supposed to be full coverage and it's medium coverage and I had textured skin, okay? And I don't like when my makeup look cakey and that kind of makes my makeup look cakey. It's probably me not putting it on right, but hey, to each his own. Now next is my concealer and I'm going to do one, two, one, two. Put on my nose and then in the middle. Now y'all, I'm not contouring. I'm not contouring. I'm not contouring. First of all, I told y'all in a previous video, I wasn't a big, you know, girly for contouring because I didn't know how to properly do it. Therefore, <laughs> I don't do it as much. Now this is an everyday and it's supposed to be quick, so that's why I don't get into all of that either. Now I'm going to let this marinate for a few seconds. And then we're gonna blend it out now, y'all. I bought these, um, I don't really know what they call them, but the little makeup pads. I bought these from Shein. Yeah, I bought these from Shein. And it came like 10 in a pack. Oh, I showed them in my video, my Shein haul. Yo, I've been in love with these ever since. Now, for my under eye, do I like it? No. But for blending everywhere else, I love it. My under eye may be because of the shape of it. But yeah, so this is what I use 
to just blend out my concealer. And y'all don't judge me because I said I was a blind baby, so I had to look in this mirror to make sure I'm not giving y'all cast for, okay? And to make sure I wasn't giving you cast for the front door. Because I don't need no flashbacks in my pictures. I don't need to look like my face light up hand off down there. take my concealer down my nose I don't like pat it I kind of take it down I drag it down again this is what works for me so y'all have to do what y'all comfortable with now of course y'all the concealer under the eyes are going to be light because it's to give a little highlight to your under eye especially the girls with the bags under their eyes or the black um circles under your eyes See the colors it up and the color correction. So, all right. So I'm kind of done there. Now again, you know this is a quick, like 20 minute, maybe 10, 20 minute. Get ready with me, cause baby, we got time, and I gotta be to work by eight. And it is currently 6:19. Okay, so I'm doing good time. And y'all, this is what I'm wearing, but I'm wearing pants with it. It's like a um, shirt dress. I got it from Fashion Nova, but it's too short for work. So I have to put some jeans under it. So after I do that, they books and gents, if you're watching, I go to my setting powder. And this is Fenty Beauty in the shade Honey. And y'all, I've been using this since the shit came out, okay? I have not, 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 not bought another, another <laughs> setting powder since I had this, okay? I have not. And I will not because this is my favorite. Until somebody make it different, then it is what it's gonna be, okay? Okay. So, I put the powder, the setting powder on this brush. How do I have an eyelash on my nose? And I got lashes on. Okay. So, this might look crazy to y'all, but it's about to get fixed, okay? I told y'all I was a blind baby. So, what y'all see, I might not see. However, I'm going to put this everywhere that I put the concealer. Okay? Here. 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 and then my chinny chin chin y'all still gotta trust the process okay because i feel like i'm looking like his will be oh yep andy's but don't worry about the show because y'all got your what i say what i say didn't i say trust the process i definitely did but if i'm done and i insert these pictures don't say nothing even the thumbnail about to be fired so don't what y'all gonna say? Practice makes perfect. And I'm not perfect, baby, so I'm still practicing. You hear me? Okay. So, I don't, I'm not one of the baking girlies. I don't bake. Baby, we can just go ahead, put it under, brush it under. What works for me probably don't work for you. And what works for you probably don't work for me. So, I'm doing it the way. But I like it. So, look y'all. Not too bad. So I'm done with that. Now, y'all know I always do my lips. <laughs> Lays. But I'm going to put my highlight up on last. Now I'm about to do my lips first. And these two products. Now, this is the Makeup Forever Lip Pencil in the shade Limitless Brown 608. And this is the, it's old y'all. But... This is the Jeffree Star um, Velour Matte Lipstick. And it will liquid lipstick rather. And it's in the shade Androgyny. Y'all, favorite, clearly. <laughs> so first I'm going to line my lips. Now y'all saw a video where a girl overlined her lips. I never tried that before. And I ain't gonna try it in this video because if it look a mess then I'm gonna be mad. So I'm just doing regular and we'll come back once I'm finished. So. If y'all can see, 
my lips are big any kind of shit weird so I start lining the body first and again y'all trust my process be thinking that's a kick I would greatly appreciate it see so it's hot about it but now I kind of fill it in some more coming from towards the bottom yeah, y'all can see it. Yo, my lips not ashy, so I don't know why they look a little dry. Then I'm going to my top lip. And again, y'all, because my lips big. I have to line my lips. <laughs> a little weird. But baby, it's going to come back to the water. Okay. So, <laughs> then up here. Again, like I said, fill it in a little more and bake together you'll get this <clears throat> you said what okay now after that putting the liquid lipstick on now y'all this is mad when i see it last all day last all day see who that oh it's me to trust the process you now sometimes like now y'all see that it kind of covered up the liner mm -hmm. i'm about to fix it don't worry about it i never knew that until i went to sephora and one of the employees was like you know after you put the lipstick on if it messes up the liner you can you know put the liner reapply it i was like oh no i thought it would mess it up more she was like nope Tell me y'all see it for me. Y'all see these? Girl, what? You said, huh? Think I'm a baby when I go to work. Like, girl, huh? What you talking about? I ain't in the mood today. And just because my lips popping like that. Now, y'all can leave it dry and let it dry, or you can add lip gloss. Usually, I let it dry and stay dry because I, I'm a coffee drinker and I drink coffee all day. So, that's why. Now, next is my what? highlighter my a1 day one this is the jacqueline hill highlight and it is in the shade high vault now like i said you do your thing i'm gonna do mine i like a lot of highlighter so <laughs> if you don't baby then that's just you it's okay though because you're still cute sister okay so i just usually put it in the top you know dip my brush in the top and then I'll apply it because I want to overdo it the first time. And with this little brush, it helps me, you know, with the precision. Precision. So all I do is do like that and drag my highlighter up. So it might look like a lot, but wait till I'm done. Do the same thing on that side. down my nose because I like a shiny nose <laughs> and then you know a little bit down here where I put a concealer at now and let me my lip so this is the finished look y'all now don't ask about my eyebrows y'all y'all know why because I gave y'all a video with them being micro shaded so baby I don't gotta do nothing with these get up and go y'all should try it so y'all before i put on my um setting spray i like to take the brush that i use the pressed powder with the foundation powder and just go all over my face again just to make sure everything is blended in well okay y'all might be asking oh that don't mess up no don't mess up nothing not the highlighter not the nothing just make sure mommy don't got no blotches all around her face you know <laughs> that's all 
from now because I'm done, y'all. My nose looks extremely light, and I guess it's it because the light in here. But when I look at it in the mirror, it don't look like that. However, back on topic. So I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Long Last and Setting Spray, and it's the little one. I got this as a sample from Sephora. And girl, I love it. But now it's on to the setting spray. So I cover my eyebrows. I mean, mm, I cover my eyelashes so they won't get wet. And I put it back here a little bit. Girl, because this stuff is. Talking about a sprayer? It's a sprayer. And it'll make your whole damn face wet. <laughs> so we're going to let that dry. And then we done, sisters. I can still feel it over here. But y'all, I can't wait till y'all see it. Like, you can't wait. You say what? Now for the finishing touch. Oh, hey, sister. I can see you now. <laughs> you said, hi. Hey, girl. You said it's getting boy. Boy, oh, hey, baby. I thought it was too, sis. <laughs> That's why I gave her this tutorial. You said the lip. Y'all know the lip's my favorite color. Y'all know the lips is my favorite. If you know me, you know my lips is the favorite part of color. Just look, y'all. Look, look. I'm loving being bold here, y'all. But anyway, that's the end of the video, guys. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Because your girl just gave you a what? A whole tutorial. Basically, a little chit-chat tutorial easy soft glam you go to work they gonna be like oh girl you look cute but you're not doing too much and that's what i like i love you guys thanks for tuning in bye